All right, picture this. You're set to renew your vows in a beautiful Central American destination. And the next thing you know, you're stuck in a foreign country without any money. And you're stuck because your bank says Uber just charged you $30,000 for a ride. That's what happened to a Riverside couple. John Fanolio is live in our news center with more on these crazy details. John. Hey, good evening, everybody. We've all heard of terrible trips using rideshare apps, but the Uber ride this couple took while on vacation it was a trip to remember for all the wrong reasons. It was supposed to be a romantic vacation of a lifetime. We've been planning it for, I want to say, about a year now. I think we're both just like really looking forward to the trip. Riverside residents Dominique Adams and Douglas Ordonez were excited to renew their vows on their five-year wedding anniversary during an idyllic getaway in Guatemala. That is, until an Uber ride went terribly wrong. I didn't believe it at first. It all started in Costa Rica. Dominique took an Uber to the airport so she could fly to Guatemala to meet her husband. Yeah, it was like a 30-minute ride. But moments after arriving at the airport, that 30-minute ride ended up costing nearly $30,000. Douglas called Dominique saying his credit card had been declined while trying to buy a cup of coffee. I sat down, looked at what the heck was going on, and that's when I see the $29,000 uh, charge on our account. Costa Rican currency is called colonas. 30,000 colonas equates to just over 55 U.S. dollars. But the Uber ride was processed as $30,000. Uber insisted it was their bank's fault. We contact the bank, the bank saying contact Uber. So it was like that back and forth of like, nobody knew really how this happened. Eventually, the bank told them they could dispute the charge, but that it would take seven to 10 days to resolve the issue. I explained to them that we're out of the country. Now we have no money. So like, what are we supposed to do? With little cash on hand and no access to their account, the couple was forced to dramatically change their trip. They even had to postpone their wedding vows. They basically told me that there was nothing that they can do about it. After four days and countless phone calls to their bank and exchanges with Uber, the charge was reversed. Personally, I believe it was because like we posted it on social media. We were sharing our story. Their story was seen and shared by millions of people on social media. Uber releasing a statement saying, in part, as soon as we received the user's report, our support team promptly addressed the issue and released the authorization hold mistakenly applied due to a bank error in dollars, not Colonus. However, the time it takes for the refund to be processed depends on each bank's policies. We'll not use Uber again. <laughs> I'm going to keep it as short as that, not using Uber again. The couple offers this advice to anyone traveling abroad. Always take out uh, cash, uh, extra cash at hand. Most importantly, only use your credit card when you're traveling. Don't use your debit card. All right, KTLA has reached out to the couple's bank, but we have not heard back. The good news, Dominique and Douglas did renew their vows. They say they can't wait to go on their next international trip. In the News Center, I'm John Finolio. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.